Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have breakfast, lunch, and a no-bake dessert which is perfect as we move into the warmer months, not to mention incredibly delicious. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload meal prep every Monday in actually five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Oh, and I will put my recipe website at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all of today's recipes. So let's jump into this week's healthy meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making ham, egg, and cheese quesadillas, and we're going to pair that with a side of fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need some minced garlic, shredded cheese of your choice. You can use light shredded cheese. I just have full fat cheese, but I'll make sure the points include light because I, because I know most of you will probably opt for light shredded cheese. You're also going to need some eggs, some type of tortilla. I would recommend just a low carb tortilla, one that's maybe one to two Weight Watchers points between 50 and 70 calories, some green onion, salt and pepper, diced ham, and broccoli. You can use fresh broccoli. I just bought the steam in the bag broccoli, so I'm going to cook that up and then we'll be adding it to our quesadilla. And then like I said, we're going to pair that with some fruit. So I'm going to do a mixture of blackberries, blueberries, and then I have some sumo mandarins. So I'll probably do a quarter, half of a mandarin per meal prep as well. Now one thing about these quesadillas that makes them great for a meal prep is they can easily be reheated in the microwave for about 30 seconds. So I'm actually going to make up four quesadillas total so that I have them for four days. I have my stove set to medium high heat. I added a big scoop of minced garlic. I did spray my skillet with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to allow that to cook for about a minute until fragrant. And then we're going to add in our package of diced ham and our broccoli. And then we're going to cook this another three to four minutes. If you're using raw broccoli, you want to cook it until your broccoli's bright green. Mine is already cooked from the steamable bag, but I'm just going to allow it to continue to warm through with the ham. I went ahead and kind of chopped my broccoli up smaller with my kitchen shears. Now we're going to crack in four eggs. And then using our spatula, we're basically going to scramble those eggs in with the garlic, broccoli, and ham. When your eggs begin to set, we're going to add in some salt and pepper. So to prepare the quesadilla, we're going to place some of the mixture on half of the tortilla. And then I'm going to sprinkle some green onions and I have half of a cup of cheese total, so I'm going to do a quarter of that right on top. And then we're going to fold the tortilla over, making our quesadilla. And then I sprayed my baking sheet with some nonstick cooking spray, and we're just going to place the quesadillas on the baking sheet. I have this feeling, baby, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so I went ahead and sprayed my quesadillas with some nonstick cooking spray just so they get a little bit more crispy. These are going into a 400 degree oven for about five to six minutes or until the shell is crispy and the cheese is melted. I just pulled the breakfast quesadillas out of the oven. These look so good and the shell is nice and crispy. Our cheese is melted. This is actually what I'm going to have for breakfast today. So let me plate it up. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do for my breakfast for the week. So here is what my breakfast is going to look like for the week. So there is the ham broccoli cheese quesadilla. Looks amazing. And then I did about a quarter of that sumo mandarin, just four slices, blueberries and blackberries. What a perfect protein packed, great source of carbs and fiber filled breakfast. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. 
For my lunch this week, I'm making cashew chicken lettuce cups. I'm so excited for these. Let me show you what you'll need. Sesame seeds are optional. I like to top mine with the sesame seeds just for a little crunch. You'll need soy sauce and oyster sauce. If you saw my grocery haul, this is my first time buying oyster sauce. I'm a little nervous, but you guys said it doesn't taste fishy. It's more like a sweet soy sauce. So we're gonna try it at the end of the video. I will pop up my thoughts on the oyster sauce because I would have tried it. I would have tried this recipe before editing this video. And then you're going to need some sesame oil. I'm using ground chicken. You could use chicken breast, chicken thighs, chicken tenders. I had ground chicken in my freezer, so I'm going to use that. Ginger paste, fresh ginger. You could even use dried ginger, minced garlic cashews, and then some type of lettuce leaf. For me, Boston leaves are the easiest to wash up and to actually put the mixture in to eat. So let's get started on lunch. So the first thing we're going to do is start cooking down our ground chicken. If you use chicken breast, thighs, or tenderloins, you actually want to marinate those. I'll have the original recipe on my recipe website, but because I'm using ground chicken, I'm not going to marinate. I'm just going to add everything to the skillet. So I'm going to allow this to start cooking for just a couple of minutes. I'm going to add a big heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, and I'm going to allow that to get a bit fragrant. I smelt the oyster sauce and it doesn't smell bad, so that makes me happy. We're adding four tablespoons of oyster sauce. And then four tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. And then about a teaspoon of ginger. And we're going to allow this to cook for about five minutes. We want to make sure our chicken is cooked completely through. Once your chicken is cooked through, we're adding in a third of a cup of cashews. And then we're going to allow that to cook for one to two more minutes. So here's our cashew chicken. It actually smells and looks amazing. I went ahead and washed all of my little Boston lettuce cups. I just wanna make sure these are fully dry. My plan is to store these in a Ziploc bag. I always put a paper towel in there. It helps absorb any excess moisture. The recipe actually makes eight servings. Each serving is two lettuce cups, so that's a good amount. This is a fantastic lunch option. You could pair this with some fruit. If you wanted to add a carbohydrate, you could throw in a side of rice, whatever your preference is, but I'm going to have two lettuce cups each day. I forgot to mention that I'll be topping each one of the lettuce cups with a little bit of sesame seed. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making a no-bake chocolate peanut butter oatmeal bar recipe. So this is going to be kind of like a no-bake cookie, but in bar form. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you'll need a brown sugar alternative of your choice. Right now, I'm using up my Lakanto Golden. I have chocolate chips. This is from Chalk Zero, like I mentioned in a meal prep or two ago that I was switching over to the chocolate chips from Chalk Zero. They taste way better than Lily's. There's no bitterness, no weird aftertaste. They actually literally taste like regular chocolate chips. So I have a mix here of the Chalk Zero Milk and Chalk Zero Dark. I do have a discount code to Chalk Zero. I'll link it for you. I used my same code when I placed my order. And then you're going to need some rolled oats, light butter, vanilla extract, cinnamon, salt, and some peanut butter. So the first thing we're going to do is to a saucepan, we're going to add one cup of butter, one half of a cup of Lakanto Golden, and our vanilla extract. And we're going to allow this to cook until the sugar is totally melted. Into a large bowl, we're adding three cups of rolled oats, cinnamon, and some salt. Then we're going to add in the butter, brown, sugar, vanilla mixture. Stir that to fully combine. And then to an eight by eight baking dish, you can either line it with parchment paper or spray it with nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add half of the oat mixture and kind of press that into place. And then to a microwave safe bowl, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, one cup of my Chalk Zero chocolate chips, and then we're going to pop this into the microwave until melted. We're going to take about three quarters of the peanut butter chocolate mixture and pour it over the oats. 
And then we're just going to spread that out right on top. And we're going to add our remaining oats on top of the chocolate layer. Spread that out nice and even. And then with the spoon, we're just going to drizzle this remaining chocolate peanut butter mixture right on top of our bars. Don't these look so good? We're going to cover these and throw them in the fridge for about two to four hours. Once they're set, you can go ahead and cut them into bars. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for these bars. Like I said, these look absolutely delicious. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I made for the week. I'm excited to have these ready to go for another healthy, successful week. Don't forget, I will have my recipe website at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all of today's recipes as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.